no matter what the doctor says this result is negative i am not going to accept it i am no covid 19 positive yeah. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. My name is Victor. Hi, my name is Amoli. So guys, today we're going to be gisting with you guys and we just want to make like um, a vlog. And today Stephanie is cooking um, okra soup or bono soup. Which one is it? Okbono. Okbono, okay. She's making okbono soup. We just came back from school, went, to, went for lectures today. It has really been a long day, but we thank God for, for today. So we just go home and we just want to like prepare something to eat, have some rest and we'll call it a day for today. And so guys, uh, how you guys been doing? It's been a long time we, we posted a video, like three weeks. Like three weeks now. <laughs> and we just want to uh, thank God for our lives and everything because recently the world has been, I don't know, things have just been somehow around the world. but. God has been faithful with us, we've been going and we're coming back safely and guys something happened yesterday that <clears throat> really blew our mind like it's yeah, shocking I know it's it's real because God is a faithful God and He's a merciful God we, yesterday, I, I think that was yesterday morning, no Saturday, it was Saturday night, yeah? It was on Saturday. Saturday evening, it was Saturday. Saturday evening yeah it was Saturday evening that we got a call from two of our friends that we see every day, we play with every day, like we spend most of our time uh, daily with them, we play with them, hug them, like do things with them. We got called, uh, we got tested positive for COVID-19 and you know, <laughs> since this COVID-19 uh, stopped, I've not really like given it too much attention, I've just been hearing it, we've just been hearing it, watching the video, seeing the cases, listening the, uh, to the news. And on Saturday it was so shocking because it, it wasn't just a news, it's, it is something that happened so close to us. People that we know, not just people that we know, very good friends, friends of, of ours. Yes. Like I said, there are people we meet with every day on a daily basis. And when we got the news, it was, it was really uh, disheartening for yes. us. I really felt bad for it, but you know how it could be now when you... <laughs> When you meet with someone every day, you play with a person, hug with a person, like exchange pleasantries and do some close stuff with them. You just get to hear that yeah. you tested positive for, for COVID nineteen, and it was really very difficult for her when we saw her. She was she wasn't really happy. Now she's on isolation. Like she has to get a, her own apart another apartment and stay away from her husband and her children. It's a very very difficult situation for her and i feel very very bad for her but like we encourage her and let her know that the word of god is always true so whatever the doctor is saying keep confessing the word of god for yourself and say no matter what the doctor says this result is negative i am not going to accept it i am no covid 19 positive yeah, why she takes the medication and all of that now. so even she when she even told us to go for the test i already told my husband that see this test is going to come out negative because the word of god is true it cannot be a lie we've been here like we've faced worse things like what worse things have come our way and we are overcomers we have overcome so so guys uh we just advise and encourage to go run uh the test because they are very close friends to us and we just went we went for the test uh, yesterday in yes, morning, morning before going to church and towards the evening time we got, got that. our test that we negative <laughs> and which was like it can just it can only just be good because we spend so much time with these people every single day we are very close we eat together we play together we hug each other we do everything together and then we came out negative and they are positive it's really like very very disheartening but like like i said we encourage them and let them know that the word of god is always true and it can be a lie and no matter what we're there for them we're there strong waiting for them to come back home to us and, and every other thing and today i i, I her home. this is my obono guys <laughs> my obono <laughs> And today I, I shall her up this evening to know how uh, she is faring and 
told me that she felt uh, she's feeling a lot better, better. than yesterday that uh, the news came and it was still fresh and trying to distance herself from her children. You know that moment when you just get the news, just like try to imagine imagine being in her shoes, you just got the news, you are positive and everything. You know, merely started distancing herself from her children, her husband and all that and the story of going for isolation for 10 days and everything. For me, like I'm not in that position but I really felt I felt so bad about it because all of a sudden just in a second her life program everything just changed. Change. Everything just changed. She's so worried about her life and everything. But we know we've prayed for her, mm -hmm. we encouraged her, we know um, in short, in short time, everything will be all right. You know, should be all right. But we just want to thank God because it's so rare. It's so rare. Like when I got the news, uh, if not that I, <laughs> maybe I believe so much in God, and we know that such things uh, can't have its way in our body. We believe the word of God so much. The word of God has said that none of these diseases shall come near us. We believe it so strongly, and we always confess the word of God upon our life. But even in that situation, you know, <laughs> you heard the news and it was so, it's so it's, it was so shocking for us. But we just want to thank God that we tested uh, negative, and we are sure and we know that even then, in maybe in few days time, everything is going to be all right because we keep we've been speaking with the God upon them, we've been praying for them, and God is still the same yesterday, today, and forever, and He answers prayers, and they are going to be all right. So we thought we should uh, share that with you. Maybe you are watching this video. Maybe you have some challenges and all that. Just trust God. Believe God. Believe God. Everything in this life, if this world has an end date, that means everything in this life has an end date. Every problem and challenges you might be facing right now, soon enough is going to be a history. So we just thought we should uh, shift it in to encourage you and to... Uh, let you know, testify on God's faithfulness and, and love for us. It was really amazing. So guys, um, Nigerians are abroad. How do you guys cope? I bought this palm oil, 5,000 Naira. I don't know if anybody is in maybe Canada, US, UK. I don't know. Like, is it that I'm doing Akagom or something? Like, it's too, for me, it's too expensive for 5,000 Naira. Like, my husband has been laughing since and everything, but Look at my boy 5,000 here. What do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section, please. No, no, my, my wife, you know, before we first came to Ukraine, it was really, really crazy. Before we spend any money, we always have to convert it to... I'm still converting. <laughs> we yeah, have to convert it to Naira and everything, and it was looking so outrageous. You know, I always told my wife, I said, when you get to Rome, you have to do what? Like a like a Roman. So, in Nigeria, <laughs> you don't want to have heart attack or maybe start thinking you are spending too much. Stop combating, just do what you know you have to do. Get to buy the things you know that are necessary, that, that are needful for you to buy. Because African uh, products abroad is really, really expensive because of the logistics, getting it over to Europe or America. It's crazy, you know? A few moments later. Guys, my abono soup is ready, and I'm eating it with manka. I don't know for those of you that live in Ukraine, you know what manka is. We don't have pounded yam or semovita, so we usually eat manka, yeah. And it's very. <laughs> Can you imagine this man? I asked him if he was going to eat. Let me watch man. I asked him if he was going to eat. look at this small food. Your, your girl cooked. Look at the small man I need. I asked him if he was going to eat. He said the fried rice he ate is enough for him. You guys are seeing, you know. You are seeing. If I say you will not eat now, they will say I'm not, I'm not a good wife, material. What you are saying is that I like food. That is what I'm saying, that he likes food. So, guys, um, something happened when I was cooking. That's why we stopped the vlog. Like, Victor had a message from his friend our friend on viber she said that her daughter and her husband went for the test the covid test and just came out negative which for me is kind of like crazy she lives with them they eat together everything and her husband test is negative her two daughters still test are negative so we told her to go 
run the test again in another hospital and tell them that or maybe she's traveling out of the country and she just wanted to run the covid test like she shouldn't tell them, them she had done it before done it before yes she just say i want to run the test again and just say she wants to run it test she's leaving the country and she has to or that comes out the way you're eating this morning <laughs> she has to just run the test and she wants to leave the country because i know it's gonna come out negative I am I'm very optimistic that it's gonna come out negative. So we just told her so we're expecting it and we know that tomorrow we're gonna to have a testimony because that test is going to be negative. Yeah. So yeah, like, I remember, remember we praying for her yesterday when we come back early this morning uh, uh, actually 3 a.m. We woke up, we prayed for her, prayed for the other of our friend for the test to turn out negative because I I really don't believe in this and I don't believe it's going to happen to me and if I have a friend that is so close to me like that try all, all my possible best are based on the word of God and I know it will turn out negative so we just encourage that we say that if your husband is negative we that are very close to you we are negative your children are negative and you just got tested positive yesterday it could be an error it could be a mistake you should mm -hmm. go and run the test again like, acting like it's your first time and you'll be amazed that the results are going to come back uh, negative so we are hoping to do another video tomorrow sharing the testimonies that she turned out negative because i'm sure it's going to be negative because yes yes guys and i forgot to tell you guys this company we didn't plan to cook it though on our way back from school i i just got a notification one of my favorite youtubers Ozi Tochi, she was having this african move back with her husband and I was like, huh? I commented on that. I'm like, what's it, Tuchi? I'm going to make this soup for my husband immediately after we get home. Because this obono, we hardly eat it at home. Like maybe once in six months. Because I'm not an obono person. But the way her and I, and I was eating the food there, eh? I really. Nani. <laughs> it's true, Nani. Nani. The way it was it, I didn't say it well. No, that's not easy. Now, the way they were eating the food really inspired me to cook it. So, you guys should go check out our channel. So we've come to the end of this vlog. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified every single time we post a video. Please, guys, if you are watching this video right now, and you've not subscribed, you subscribe. no. just kindly subscribe to our channel, okay? Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye.